Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. By now, I'm hoping that you have mastered cut, copy, and paste, at least as far as one computer is concerned. Sometimes it's a, a bit tricky when you're trying to paste to another computer. You may have to use a utility that we've highlighted in the past. Uh, but what about when it comes to pasting a bit of text that happens to be a, a script of some kind or some code? Well, you could send it to a friend or a colleague by instant messenger, in which case the formatting is going to get all messed up and you're not going to be able to decipher it. You can send it by email and then it may never actually make it to the other side. Or you could use something called a paste bin. And these are websites that are pretty much around for you to paste in text and then it generates a link that you can then pass along to a friend. Well, I found out about slexy.org the other day, S-L-E-X-Y dot O-R-G. And it is a paste bin that's kind of nice. In fact, you may use it for yourself, not just to send code of just about any kind to another person to troubleshoot through an issue or to have them do some kind of review. Uh, what I've done here is I've gone to Slexi.org. I've pasted in some HTML, hypertext markup language, and uh, I've given it an author name. That's, that's me, Chris. A description, a page that I'm working on, let's say I'm running into problems, the language that this happens to be, in which case it happens to be HTML. But if you can see, I don't know if you can see from that far, but as soon as I click the uh, drop down list, it just goes almost like, well, it goes off the screen that way, that's for sure. And I can select uh, different uh, types of languages, and the, you'll understand why in just a second, like CSS, Cold Fusion, uh, looks like. C, ASP, Apple Script, regular old text, Ruby, a robots.txt file, a reg file, you know, Microsoft registry file, uh, open office, basic, uh, looks like Lisp, Java, and the list literally goes on and on. If you can think of a script language uh, or some kind of uh, a, a text file that needs to be formatted a certain way, you may be able to paste it in here for the reason I'm about to explain. Uh, and I'll, sh I'll illustrate it actually. Uh, you can set the visibility of this particular pasted bit of text as public or private, include line numbers, which is again very, very nice if you're trying to troubleshoot a problem, especially with another person, and set an expiration uh, from uh, five minutes all the way to no expiration. I press submit paste, and this is what's nice. Since I selected the language as HTML, because that's the uh, script that I pasted in, or I guess the, the bit of text that I pasted in, it will automatically go through, can you see the different colors on my screen? It will do syntax highlighting and line numbering. And then I can send that little link because this link that I created is available for anybody. It's just, it creates a new web page, if you will, that I can send along to anybody. So if I send it to a friend, uh, they can see and say, oh, in line 47, you, you uh, missed a quote. Or I, this is, this is where I think uh, the author of this utility wasn't uh, really intending the tool to be used for. But if I'm in a situation where I'm working on some bit of code, or looking at a registry file or text file or whatever, and I need line numbering and I need uh, the syntax highlighting, but I don't have a syntax highlighting tool on that computer, I can just paste the text in here and get syntax highlighting for free. Easy. And, and it's a web page. So, awesome. If you've never heard of a paste bin before, uh, slexy.org is certainly the easiest one I've ever used. I mean, they're not that complex, but in terms of syntax highlighting and line numbering and the amount of languages that it supports, uh, for, uh, well, at least the syntax highlighting, it seems to be quite comprehensive. Uh, he's got a suggestion box. If you uh, have another a thing to suggest, another feature to suggest, it works fast, it runs clean, nothing to register for, uh, I'm sorry, nothing to register for. You don't have to sign up for an account or anything. And uh, of course, the URL could be public if you wanted it to be. Anyway, I thought it was a cool utility, slexy.org. Maybe you know of another really cool web-based utility that would be good for people who are, you know, starting out with, um, well, let's say programming, coding, developing, and, you know, they need help, they need troubleshooting tools, uh, they need collaborative tools, pass them along. I'm always interested in looking at anything, even if it's not related to something that has to do only with the world of technology, software, hardware, and whatnot. You're also welcome to join us in the chat room at uh, live.perillo.com. And uh, we've got this live video uh, feed going out pretty much, pretty much all the time. And, uh, you know, the chat room is incorporated in here and you can see people just type whatever they want to type in in the chat room. It's kind of, it's kind of crazy. Sometimes it's kind of scary. But a lot of the people down here, you can meet in our community at geeks.perillo.com. My email address, and I, I think I 
asked you to send me stuff, but if I didn't give it already, it's Chris at Perillo.com. That's my last name, .com, you see. Uh, Perillo, my middle name, naturally. And uh, anyway, we'd love to see you anytime, but if you only want to sit there and watch me uh, sit here and you want to watch the chat room, well then, uh, again, the place where you can go, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, is live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.